Okay, so our goal by the end of this video is to be able to determine the mean and standard deviation of a variable in a given setting after a linear transformation is applied. So let's first go over what a linear transformation is, and we're going to look um, what it is in the mathematical sense, and then we'll look at what it means just like in the practical real life sense. So a linear transformation is essentially when you change a variable in a linear, you know, in a linear way by applying linear operations. So let's say X represents the original data values and you're gonna change the X values to Y values. Then we say it's a linear transformation if Y can be represented in the form where it's Y will be equal to A plus B times X. So A and B are fixed values. It could be any real number. But this is, you know, kind of just like a, what you learn in algebra, slope intercept form. A is like the Y intercept. B is just a slope when you graph it, you know, on the X, Y plane. Now, when this occurs, the mean of Y, so Y bar is gonna be equal to A plus B times X bar. So the mean of Y is equal to A plus B times the mean of X. And the standard deviation of Y will be equal to B times the standard deviation of X. Now, so what does this mean, you know, like, you know, in like a practical sense? Well, you'd be surprised to know that linear transformations are used all the time. You've experienced them, you may not even know it, but it's like when you change temperature from degrees Celsius into Fahrenheit, um, that's a linear transformation. When you, um, you know, um, take an Uber or, or a Lyft and you convert them, you're basically taking the miles driven and you're being charged a price. You're taking the distance you know, driven and converted into, you know, money and how much you're going to be charged. Um, if you work at, you know, a typical um, hour, hourly job, you're going to take the time you work and convert it into, you know, up some amount of pay because you, you're typically going to be paid, you know, um, some fixed amount per hour, maybe $10, $20 an hour, whatever. So those are examples of linear transformations. Now we're going to go over an example problem and then in the next video, I'm going to go over conceptually why these properties hold. So um, let's look at the next. Let's look at the next page. Okay, so here we, in this example, we have that in 2010, taxi cabs in New York City charged an initial fee of $2.50 plus $2 per mile. So at the end of the month, a business bank collect, collected all of his taxi cab receipts and calculates in numerical summaries. The mean fare he paid was found to be $15.45 and had a standard deviation of $10.20. So the question is, what are the mean and standard deviation of the length of his cab rides in miles? Now, and you know, in my experience teaching this stuff, this can really be, um, I've, no, I've learned that this is, gets sometimes, this commonly gets um, overwhelming for some students because they overthink it. They, you know, they kind of, you know, tr they understand the context, but they overthink, you know, I guess the math or the, you know, the, the details in it. So what I advise is use those equations that I just showed you first, just write them down. So let's have Y be equal to A plus BX and we'll have Y hat be equal to A plus B times X, not Y hat, Y, y bar is equal to A plus B times X bar. And the standard deviation of y will be equal to b times the standard deviation of x. So write this, write these equations down first, because it's going to really get you started on the right track. And you're going to realize how simple this stuff actually is. So we have two variables here. You may not recognize it as first, but you have two variables where you have where you're dealing with money and the distance driven. So what we do is we um, change how far taxi cab drives and how much you're gonna charge. So let's have X, you know, represent, you know, distance driven and, you know, in miles, it's gonna be. And Y is gonna be the amount charged, you know, amount charged measured in dollars. 
So again, just use your common knowledge of the real world. How is the amount charged related to the distance driven? Well, let's look at the first sentence. It says that they charge an initial fee of $2.50 plus $2 per mile. So we can then say that the amount charged Y is gonna be equal to $2.50 or 2.5, that's the initial fee, plus two times the number of miles, which is gonna be two times X, since X represents the distance driven in miles. So here's our equation for Y in terms of X. And what do you wanna find? We wanna find the mean standard deviation of the length of his cab rides in miles. So we wanna find, let's write it, find the mean and standard deviation of the length of his cab rides. So find X bar and the standard deviation of X. That's the goal. Because we redefined X to be the distance you know, driven in miles. So we already have an equation for you know, X bar and for the standard deviation of X, just not isolated. So we're gonna use these equations to figure out what X bar and standard deviation for X is. So what we do is we recognize what the A and B values are from here, because the A is gonna be the 2.5, and B is just gonna be that two. So if A is 2.5 and B is two, then that means that Y bar is gonna be A plus two times X bar. Now we're given that Y bar, we're already given um, that Y bar is is $15.45. So let's write that right here, $15 or 15.45. And we're given the standard deviation of Y is 10.2. So the standard deviation of Y is 10.2. So we're essentially pretty much when it, done with the problems in terms of what we need to do to, to, to solve, because you're given all your um, quantities, we, we know what Y bar, A and B are, so we're just gonna solve this for X bar, and we know what the standard deviation of Y and B are, so we're just gonna solve this for standard deviation of X. So let's go ahead, let's solve this. Let's solve for X bar by substituting 15.45, into the left side and making that equal to 2.5 plus two times X bar. Just make sure your um, algebra is, you know, isn't bad because you know you don't want to screw up. So take away the 2.5 and then divide by two. 15.45 minus 2.5 divided by two. So we'll get that X bar is 6.475. That's one of our answers. And then we solve for standard deviation of X with this equation. We just go ahead and set this equals 10.2, 10.2 equals two times the standard deviation of X. So we just divide 10.2 by two, and we'll get that standard deviation of X is 5.1. 5. 5. Uh, 5. And that's it. Now, um, when you really catch on to the concepts behind these problems, you actually will need a lot less work because you're going to be able to work through it logically. Um, so when you first, but I do advise when you first start with these, 
Um, it can be a little confusing. So use these equations um, to get yourself going and then just do some algebra and you're gonna realize it's actually pretty simple. <laughs>